Now we're going to do problem 8.2.25, testing a claim about a proportion. So consider a sample, that's N51, X is 30. So alpha is 0 0.01. The claim is that the home team wins is greater than one half. So that has to be the alternative. It's a right tail test. So the null is that it's equal or less than or equal, but we just use equals. So it'll be B. Identify the test statistic. So we got to go to StatCrunch. Make sure I write everything down this time. So in StackRutch, we're going to do proportion one sample with summary. So there was 30 successes for the home team out of 51 games. The hypothesis test is that the alternative is greater than. It's a right tail test. So the null is that it's equal. 50, 50, the, it says that the claim is that the home team wins greater than 50%. So that goes into the, the alternative hypothesis. So the null has to be equal. So compute. So the test statistic is 1.26. Uh, I'll write some more decimal places, but they'll probably only want uh, two. So 1.26025. Notice the p-value. We're not going to be rejecting. We're going to be accepting. At any rate, we'll get to that here shortly when we get back to the problem. And they want to know the test statistic. So that was 1.26, two decimal places. Good answer. And then the p-value, the p-value to three decimal places, 104. So 0 0.104. And since the p is not low, we're going to fail to reject. And we can't support the claim because the claim's in the alternative. So it's D. We're failing to reject. We can't support the claim. Okay. That's it. Let's continue with 31. Okay. In a recent court case over 11 years, 890 people were subject, selected. So that's M890. 42%. We're from the same ethnicity, ethnicity, so that's P hat. Among the people eligible for jury duty, 79% were of this. So P 79.8, maybe that's P hat. Let's read some more. So alpha's 0 0.01. The claim is that the selection process is biased against allowing this ethnicity to sit in a grand jury. So you can see all the examples are using 0 0.798. If it's biased against allowing this ethnicity, then it would have to be less than. So it has to be B. Right, if it's biased, then it would have to be less than that. Okay, so that the claim has to go in the alternative because it says less than. So that's the only one that fits the bill, really. What's the test statistic? Okay, so we have all the numbers, I believe. Let's go see what we can do with StatCrunch. Uh, 
Okay, so it's uh, proportion, one sample with summary. Okay, so in this case, it's 42%. <clears throat> So I have to I have to calculate 42% of 890 and round it to the nearest whole number 374 so 374 out of over those 11 years out of the 890 people were successes and what they're saying is that the claim is that it's less than point Seven nine eight, and I better change the alternative less than. That was the claim that it's it's biased, so it's going to be less than what's evident from the from that population, the demographic. We're going to reject. You can see the p value is really low. That's the first thing I always look at. But they're going to want the z stat. Look how big it is, way to the left. The z stat's minus twenty eight point oh seven. 058. The p value is 0 0.0001. It's less than 0 0.0001. And so when I go back to the problem, this is a case where we have support for the claim, big time support. Okay, there it is. So the z test statistic was minus 28. You're way in the left tail. You can, can you vi visualize that? Way in the left tail. Okay, good job. And then the p-value, four decimal places. Uh, let's take a chance and put 0, 0, 001. It says less than that, but let's see if they give us credit. Yeah, you could have put zero, all four zeros, but that's that's still really low. It's much lower than point. Zero, 01 so since we're low we're going to reject we're rejecting the null hypothesis because the p value is less than or equal to the significance level and we're going to say that there is sufficient evidence to support the claim so d there you go i went a little fast with that you can read the other ones and see the only ones that uh, would, would apply are C or D. There's sufficient evidence. And it's C is just written backwards. The jury selection process can't be fair if you're way in the left tail. Because fair would be supporting the null. But we can't. All right. So that's questions uh, 825 and 8231. Dr. K, over and out.